Look at this, guys. It is like fall weather out here today. I'm out running around today, and I'm in the area, so I thought I would make stop number two at the at-home store to see what kind of awesome Halloweeniness they have put out since I was here the last time, like what, a week ago? And let me just say thank you, at-home store, for putting out the awesome Halloweeniness very early. Thank you, sir, in that car. Oh, guys, look at this right inside the door. Holy crap, I knew they would have more stuff out already. <gasps> I am super excited right now. I'm gonna go broke today. I'm gonna go broke today. The first awesome thing I see is right here. These three ghosties telling ghost stories by a campfire. What the heck? Look, it's like the dad or the older brother or whoever he is. He's telling the stories. Does it say? Yes, it says ghost stories even. And the two kids are scared to death. That is hilarious. And look at the little fire. I love that fire. And look at this inflatable orange and black spider. Look at this, his eyes light up. That is way cool. Oh, and he lights up on the inside too. Look, if we step up here, you can see, I can't remember what they call that, but I remember it being called like fire and ice or something like that. That is totally awesome. Okay, now wait a minute. This one looks very familiar. Okay, so do you guys remember when I did the review of, well, I guess it was the Ghost Face Inflatable um, that I got on Amazon for like 25 bucks. That's what this one reminds me of, but it's not Ghost Face, obviously, and especially because he has four fingers, strangely. But look at his face. He's a skeleton with red eyes, and look how the lights flash inside there. They're green lights. Is that green? That looks green to me. Kind of strange that they don't have any prices out on any of this stuff yet. Ooh, and there's even more down this aisle, guys. So we're gonna get there. Let's finish looking at the inflatables first. All right, let's continue with this guy right here. The floating ghoul over the cemetery headstone. Look, the headstone says RIP, rest in peace. It has a skull on it. And then there's this ghoul guy, this ghoulie guy. And he's floating right above and watch. He leans over like he's saying, do not come closer. <laughs> I gotta see his mechanism. That's weird. It's just like he has a little bit of extra fabric here to let him do that motion. Let's see it from the side here. If you watch him, he's gonna lean forward. There he goes. Yep, right over the headstone. And yeah, it's just because of this little bit of extra fabric here and this other fan. Huh, that's pretty cool. He's pretty tall too. He's gotta be about maybe eight feet tall or something. Yeah, he is pretty dang big. He's gotta be at least eight feet tall. I don't think he's quite 10 feet. But anyway, okay, let's come over here and see this guy right here. This Frankenstein's monster. He is really cool. Look at how like slim he is. I like how he has the skeleton body and I like how he has like a couple teeth missing. That is too funny. Sir, you are malnutritioned. Like if you wanted to, you could paint in a couple teeth there that are like white and yellow and rotting. I never really thought about that with inflatables, but you could really customize any inflatable that you ever want. Just get some paint and I mean, you couldn't go crazy. It still is like a breathable nylon and you have to allow for that for it to blow up correctly. But you could paint those teeth yellow and crumbling. You could give him like red eyes or yellow eyes and white bones. Okay, so that is all of those and I saved the best one for last. Look at this, the trick or treat mobile. Oh my gosh, this is so totally cool. Look at this, the back of the truck even says trick or treat. We have this guy, these guys, they're like best buddies driving and they're waving to all the kids who are waving at them. Maybe it's like a parade float and they're throwing candy. That's why their hand is up in the air because they just threw lots of candy to waiting children. <laughs> so we have Mr. Frankie here and we have Mr. Skelleboy in the front driving the Halloween trick-or-treat mobile. And then behind them, look at this totem pole of Halloween awesomeness. We've got a ghosty on top with a purple hat. Like, what is up with that? That's like a, a wizard hat. Why is the ghost wearing a wizard hat? And then below him, we have just a jolly pumpkin. And then below him yet, we have an even jollier 
spider. And look at this. I love how the spider's legs are orange and black. He has a giant smile and huge yellow eyes. That is so cool. That is like my favorite spider ever and I don't like spiders. Oh my gosh and look at this. I almost missed this. There are jack-o-lanterns in the wheels. That is so hilarious. All right looking around the other side though this is like technically the back so these wheels do not have the jack-o-lanterns but you could paint jack-o-lantern faces on there if you wanted to so there are the inflatables guys i love how they have these set up already and they're right inside the door and i did notice that they're all in boxes right over here so let's just take a quick look over here and see if they have any more that they don't have set up in fact here's one right here a 20 foot monster it is Frankenstein's monster, 20 feet tall. I wonder how much he is. Yeah, they don't have any prices out yet, but he's probably 200 bucks. It looks like everything else is exactly what we just looked at. And yeah, for confirmation, here is the animated Reaper, the ghouly guy, and he is eight feet tall. All right, let's come right down here a second, guys, because I just noticed this guy that I almost didn't see. Look at this. This guy's got to be at least eight feet tall. 129 bucks. That is quite the mug on that guy. Look at the size of his head. I kind of feel bad for this guy too because unless these hands were put on wrong, they're like, wait, what in the heck? They were. No, maybe they're turned up like this. Okay, that's got to be what it is. They're turned up like this. I thought that this being his left arm... I thought that his hand was supposed to be like this. Okay, anyway. Long bony feet, long bony legs, long bony everything, and big head. <laughs> oh, and look behind him. We have the shadow projection lights. This is, oh yes, ghosts and pumpkins. It's like a pumpkin patch. This one appears to be like a graveyard. Yeah, look at that. We've got ghosts and skeletons and spooky trees and uh, headstones. That is really cool. And then this one here is a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, look at that. Just little characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. There's the trick-or-treaters. There's uh, Sally and Jack. Ooh, Frog's Breath. Deadly Nightshade and Worm's Wart. <laughs> oh, down here, look at this. The Spooky Moods Musical Ghost Lights String. Okay, there's no faces on those ghosts right now, but I bet when you push this button, they appear. Yes, look at that. Uh-oh. Copyright song. Okay, right back here in these aisles, where at least one of them is where I saw some other Halloween stuff, but we're going to go down here quick and just see if there's anything random sitting out, because sometimes there are. Like back here the other day is where they had the stuff set out. Yeah, they have even more. This is where they had the stuff set out where I did my first video. Yep, because here's these ghouly guys I was talking about. Lots more stuff in this aisle we're gonna take a look at in just a second. We got stuff on the end of the aisle here. I see pumpkins peeking out up here. I see skeletons peeking out of pumpkins up here. Oh my gosh, that is so way cool. Here's the gargoyles we looked at the last time in the dragons, and there is more stuff right up top here. Let's start looking. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I came in here today, guys. I checked three other stores before I came in here, and I almost gave up, but I'm so glad to see all this awesome Halloweeniness just waiting for us. Like this guy. Hello, Mr. Black Cat with candy. Or the candy corn teeth vampire. Look, the sign back here says, love you more than candy. And what's this here? Which way to the candy? <laughs> a haunted home is a happy home. Love you more than candy. I'm not too old for free candy. A real witch lives here with her little monsters. And look at this. A lot of people are doing uh, Halloween Christmas trees now. Look how cool this is right here. Shatterproof, tricky treats, jack-o'-lantern ornaments. Holy crap, guys. These are so totally awesome. I just might have to get some of these today. Wait, and look at this. It's it's bat ornaments. Black and purple bat ornaments. Halloween gets better and better every year. Hello, sir. <laughs> he saw me coming and he randomly started playing his song. But look, I noticed that 
like his leg has fallen off. That's what I'm talking about right there. Positivity. Your leg falls off and you still continue to play music. Here's his friend over here who still has both legs. There they go. It's a whole band. We just need a drummer with only one arm. Okay, let's move on down here. Look at this. We have Eye of Newt. We have Extract of Witch Hazel. We have Zombie Blood here. Moon Dust Potion. That's a wooden one. And this is a glass one. Look, this one even has a witch's hat on it. Oh my gosh, so does this one here. I didn't even notice. The Extract of Witch Hazel has a hat. And this one has a spider web. Look at this. We have Black Cat Magic here in a purple bottle. A little stack of pumpkins, black, orange, gray, and white. I love jack-o'-lanterns, man. I cannot wait to carve some real jack-o'-lanterns this year. We've got this little Boo Beads display here. I am a crystal-collecting, tarot-reading, moon-admiring kind of girl, okay? We have a very strange moony pumpkin here. And look at this. Wait. Right, behind, right in front of the trick-or-treat sign, we have... Jack Skellington pumpkins. At least I think that's what it's supposed to be. A lot of times they make these just to look like Jack Skellington, but yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas, official. Oh, sweet. Look at this. It just keeps getting better and better with the Christmas tree ornaments or the Halloween tree ornaments. Little shatterproof ghosts. How cool is that? We got ghosts, we got jack-o'-lanterns, and we have bats over here. Not to mention we have a bag of skulls, so if you wanted to make skull ornaments, you actually could using the fish hooks in the garage. <laughs> Not the old ones with the guts all over them. We have a happy witch down here, which appears to be, well, is she? she's sitting on what appears to be like a lollipop. Okay, hello, Miss Happy. And look at this, guys. Halloween bleeding candles. Look at that. We've got white candles. These are these are those tall taper candles. Black candles. Skulls. Little skulls. And then we've got gold skulls. That is creepy. And when you light these, any of them, these, 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 or these, you light them... And as they melt, the wax that drips down is red like blood. Oh my gosh, these are all bleeding candles too. Look, we've got a bigger skull here. We've got a whole rib cage. That is freaky. A bleeding rib cage. It even has the backbone. A bleeding spine. A stack of skulls. And a big black one. And these all, when you light them and they burn, they melt uh, red wax like they're bleeding. Okay, on to the end cap here. We've got some pretty dang cool things. Let's start at the top. First, we have these little posable skeletons here. How much are these? $15 for little ones here. And then we've got, uh, well, we saw that. Eat, drink, and be scary. We've got a spooky sign here. Happy Halloween. What is this? This is like groundbreaker skeleton hands. Lawn stakes. You stick them in, their, in your lawn, and it looks like they're coming up out of the yard. Same thing with these, but these have chains on them. And then there's this one that's making a peace sign. What the heck? And then we've got big light-up jack-o'-lanterns on the bottom here. Oh, look at this one here. This is a pumpkin that is open and has an awesome Halloween-y scene inside. Let me get some light there. We got two pumpkins a skeleton and, oh, there's a, a spooky tree and a haunted house in the back and a uh, headstone there with a bone by it. We have Mr. Tin Pumpkin here. Some pumpkins with the spooky scene on them. We may have seen these the last time we were in here. You got a black cat on a pumpkin, a spooky tree. Look at the face on that spooky tree. That is so cool. That is 100% Halloween right there, including the bats. I love this kind of Halloween stuff. And then we got a couple of these black pumpkins that are light up with the orange face cut out. Um, yeah, there's a little LED light inside there. You can see he lights up when you turn them on. Most of this stuff we saw the last time we were in here, but look at this. We didn't... Did we see these? I don't think we saw these when we were in here last. Christmas Halloween trees. Look at this. This one has a ghost on top and it lights up. This one has a pumpkin on top. Those are really cool. And look at this, guys. This 
is so awesome. All right, hold on. It's like a light up Frankenstein pumpkin that sort of also looks like Jack Skellington. Like look at the smile, but he has bolts coming out of his head that are silver and a silver stem. That is cool. All right, we saw these couple of things the last time. If you wanna see those close up, you can go to the last video from the at-home store. Look at this. We have giant candles. I think these are ceramic, and up here, apparently they light up. Well, it's kind of dark back here, but we got uh, dark witches' hats back there. Uh, let's see. Most of this we saw the last time we were in here, too. But we do have this here with witch boots, curses, spells, potions, brews, and they're like books. That's pretty cool. Scale of Dragon and Scream Syrup. And look at this. I love this random stuff that doesn't really make sense. It's a microscope that's peering down on one eye. Here's an owl with some books, curses, spells, and more spells. And then you put a little tea candle in there. Here's this jolly vampire guy. I think we saw him on the other side, though, if I'm not mistaken. And what is with this guy? Have we seen this before? That face looks familiar to me and very strange. Wait a minute, look at this guy. <laughs> what the heck? What is with that face? We've got what appears to be light up ghosts down here. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Music and spooky sounds. And then we've got these pumpkins down here, these jack-o'-lanterns that have a button too. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I love that. Listen to the crow in the background. You gotta love the spooky Halloween sounds. Now look at this. They do have some of these pumpkins right here, which I believe... Are these the carvable ones? It doesn't say carvable, but these are only 10 bucks. And they're like, they feel like they're hollow. So I bet you could carve these. All right, guys, let's go ahead and head back up this way. I know there's a little bit more stuff up here yet, and this is not even our last trip to this store because I know they get tons and tons more Halloween stuff as we get closer to Halloween. All right, yes, as we enter this aisle, look at this. They got this creepy guy. Here's the ISC. Look at this. Here's the merchandising direction. So they're going to have all this stuff later on. But for now, we have this creepy looking Skella guy in his uh, red hmm, flailing gown, I guess it would be. Ooh, look at this. We got a face lighting up on a hanging witch. Witch magic. Seven foot light up witch. That's pretty cool. I like how that goes on and off. And then we have these big ghosties here. These, I love, look at the look on his face. I love that. That is so hilarious. Those are only 12 bucks too. You could hang those all around your front yard from the trees. All right, and we have just a few more things in this aisle here before we are finished today, guys. We've got the black and the orange pumpkins that already have the light up carved faces and the LED lights. These are only 10 bucks. If you need some Halloween in your house right now and you can't wait to carve a real pumpkin, come get some of these. Here's some little orange ones, some little white ones, and here's some white ones that are the same size as the other ones I pointed out back there that I said are probably carvable, but it does not say carvable on them, so I just don't know. And of course, we've got a plethora of the Jack Skellington white pumpkins. Look at this. All this stuff is coming soon. Pink, purple. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So to finish it off, guys, we've got these fall-looking doormats over here, but we have Halloween doormats right here. Now, let's look at this one on the bottom first, because how cool is this? Look at that. Happy Halloween. It's in a graveyard. We got an awesome black crow. We got an owl up here, some headstones, the graveyard fence, and two awesome jack-o'-lanterns right there. All right, let's see what's on this one. This one says, welcome. Ooh, there's a spooky jack-o'-lantern. This one says, boo, and has a ghost. This one looks like a, uh, can't even think of what the heck you call that thing. You guys tell me, Ouija board, that's what it is, a Ouija board. This one says, welcome, and has three 
friendly skeletons. This one has three friendly dancing skeletons. And the last one up here, let's see. Oh, little ghosts. Oh, I love that. Happy Halloween, and it's got ghosts all over it.